Welcome to this edition of the Taiwan Outlook. My name is Raymond Wu. I'm currently Associate Professor of Law at the Foreign Catholic University in Taipei, Taiwan. Now, since it's my first time hosting the program, I wish our viewers at home will continue to give our program feedback and support. We want to make the program more inclusive and more representative of the different views within Taiwan. And since it's my first day on the job, I'm very delighted to have a very good friend of mine who is also being an active participant in the trade relations between the U.S. and Taiwan in the last decade or so, Mr. Eddie Yen, who is currently the director of the Office of Trade and Investment for the state of Idaho in Taipei, Taiwan. Welcome to the program, Eddie. Well, Eddie, let's start off with something overall comprehensive. As we all know, the United States is a very important ally for Taiwan in many, many different areas. Yes. Yeah. If we may start with trade and investment first, we know that there are so many areas that Taiwan is cooperating with the United States in the area of trade and investment. Can we start off with the issue of trade? You know, what are the major areas of trade between Taiwan and the United States currently and as well as you can see in the future. Well, well thank you, Raymond. Thank you for inviting me to uh, well, it's uh, an honor your, to your have program. you here. Yes. Well, I think first of all, I would like to tell our kind of audience, like, you know, many of you uh, probably don't know that Taiwan actually is a small country in terms of population. It's only your world number 48. Yes. But in terms of trade, it's the uh, number nine yes. trading partner in the world. Uh, in the world, yes. And uh, not um, to the U.S. To and, the U.S. Uh, in the world, mm. it's number sixteen. Yes. And the bilateral trade between Taiwan and U.S. last year reached uh, about sixty billion. Mm -hmm. So a lot That's of quite people impressive. Yeah, it's, yes. it's very, very. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, trade area cover a lot of high tech. Yes. And also a lot of agricultural products. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course you. We have to include a lot of the military and uh, the aerospace yes. kind of uh, high tech, uh, high -tech materials. Uh, yes. material equipment. Yes. So really, uh, I think a lot of people don't know that how important Taiwan is mm -hmm. in the bilateral trade between uh, Taiwan and the U.S. Mm -hmm. and, and also, as we know, that the United States, of course, is the most important trading partner in the world today. As you stated, although Taiwan is you know small mm -hmm. compared to others around the you know, around the globe, uh, we're only about, about 23 million people. Mm -hmm. However, our trade volume with the United States is very very significant. Yes, you know, given the context mm -hmm. of the uh, overall you know uh, scheme of things, how about in the area of investment? Well, investment uh, because of the uh, the uh, uh, development of high tech business mm -hmm. industry in Taiwan. Actually, U.S. is also one of the most important investors mm -hmm. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I think most of you probably uh, know that Corning uh, Glass, yes. which is the single largest uh, foreign kind of investor in Taiwan economy. Yes, you know, Corning just uh, has a big investment not just in the uh, uh, Taichung high tech. Uh, yes. Uh, area and also they have a big investment in in Tainan, okay. uh, kind of a high tech uh, park. Uh -huh. And also for Taiwan size, uh, a lot of you probably aware of the uh, the, the first big investment of TSMC. Yes, uh, that they had a a wafer uh, plan in Washington State. Yes, and recently I think uh, the mm -hmm. most important the smartphone uh, company mm -hmm. uh, HTC. Yes. They also had a very, very uh, significant investment in also Washington State, mm -hmm. and that's just the high tech part. Actually, uh, the investment from Taiwan side in, is not only kind of going to the high tech area. Mm -hmm. uh, I have heard that that two companies from Taiwan they had a very successful investment in you won't believe Oki Farm. Yeah, yeah really. In, one is in California, another one is in uh, I believe it's in Virginia uh -huh. because. People in the U.S. 
I don't know, uh, starting from when uh, the people uh, in the U.S., they, they like orchid. Oh, they like really? to buy orchid and put it in their home as a kind of a display. I guess because orchid, you know, it can stay really long. At least if you have yes. a live orchid, it yeah. can stay at least uh, two weeks. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, so these are the areas mm -hmm. that we see. But of course, when you walk down the streets of Taipei, you see all these restaurants, you mm -hmm. know, fast food and, you know, chain restaurants like uh, Pizza Hub, McDonald's, mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes. They're all American products. And they're all, you know, making investments, significant investments in Taiwan. Therefore, I want to ask you, Eddie, is that you've been represented, you know, the state of Idaho in Taiwan for almost two decades now, right? Uh, 18. 18. 18 years. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, over the last 18 years or so, you must come across a number of different Idaho companies mm -hmm. who are interested in investing in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. What are the major considerations for these firms to make their investment decisions to come into Taiwan market and make their investments here? Well, I think for any foreign co uh, company, when they decide to go to a, a kind of foreign country, foreign, country, foreign, foreign market, yes. I think the, the first uh, consideration would be the market, mm -hmm. whether there's a real market or not. Consumption power. Yeah, the market. Yes. And also the second consideration would be the regulation. Uh -huh. uh, you know, for a U.S. company or even a uh, European company, yes. it's very important that they can, when they go to a country mm -hmm. like Taiwan, mm -hmm. they, need, they need to see the, the real transparency mm -hmm. of the government regulation, mm -hmm. especially for any kind of foreign company. Yes. And I think from MCHAM, they, they have a kind of a... Uh, annual uh, kind of report, and yes. they always emphasize that you know the Taiwan, white paper. Taiwan yes. is getting there, but in terms of the uh, the transparency of government regulation, mm -hmm. I think we Taiwan maybe have a little bit uh, kind of a, uh, effort to do. Yes, and also location. Yes, uh, I think uh, as I just mentioned earlier. Although Taiwan, in terms of population, is small, mm -hmm. but the market is big, and mm -hmm. actually, a lot of the products yes. Taiwan import, uh, the, the Taiwanese company they import to Taiwan actually are not for local consumption. Yes, they will put some of the component together and mm -hmm. ship those. The value semi, added. The value added ship it to like yes. Ch China. Yes, because Ch uh, Taiwan is the single largest trading partner. Uh, uh, trading partner with China and also uh, right now uh, Vietnam. Yes. Yeah, you are, I Southeast think you might have Asia. seen lots yes. of the, uh, the reports about a uh, company from Taiwan. They have a very successful investment in Vietnam mm -hmm. and also Thailand, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia. Yes. So I, I have been uh, re receiving lots of uh, congressional state delegation in the past uh, 16 months. Yes. And that's the one of the things I always uh, mention to them. And Really, Raymond, you won't believe that when they, they receive my presentation, yes. and they are really surprised that Taiwan really has a location to play as a regional hub yes. uh, for a foreign uh, company. Yes. So I think these three things, that I think that will be the most important thing for uh, any foreign company that, uh, when they are considering to have an investment in Taiwan market. Yes. yes. And government regulation, yes, and also the location. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it's in interesting, Eddie, that you you should mention about the white paper mm -hmm. that's published every year by mm -hmm. the American Chamber of Commerce in Taiwan. You know, and uh, I remember reading some of them in the past. Uh, they've always, you know, always mentioned almost about the inability mm -hmm. to have direct three links mm -hmm. you know, between Taiwan and China as one of the major obstacles or hurdles. You know, for American companies making investments in Taiwan. And other than that, you know, now that with the new administration and the president inaugurated in May of this year, that we are now starting to have the first phase of the three links. Mm -hmm. And uh, so putting that aside, what are the other areas of hurdles, difficulties, or problems that you see uh, before American companies, for those of you coming from your home state of Idaho, you know, before they make decisions to make investments in Taiwan. What are the other area of concerns? Well, over the year, uh, as you just mentioned, that Idaho has the uh, office established, actually, that's the first mm -hmm. uh, permanent uh, office, uh, trade office, office in, in Taiwan. In Asia. Yes. And over the uh, past 18 years, what I have seen uh, in the kind of a government uh, regulation mm -hmm. side, I think Taiwan government has really made a significant uh, progress in mm -hmm. improving 
the uh, overall uh, business environment yes. for not just trade but mm -hmm. also for uh, investment. Mm -hmm. And but some of the area I think I would like to also mention maybe to uh, the local uh, government uh, uh, official to yes. consider. One of the thing is like. You know, if you want to attract a foreign investment. investor investment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you need to make the overall inv uh, environment really friendly. Yes, like how to uh, make uh, the Taiwan as uh, very uh, kind. Of, I, I hate to compare this like Hong Kong and Singapore. Yes, but, you know, uh, any foreigner when they go to Singapore and Hong Kong, starting from the airport, all mm -hmm. the environment, all yes. the design, everything make the, uh, the foreigner feel very comfortable. I think yes. women have been. Traveling all over the world, and you have been to Hong Kong and Singapore, and Many you know times. what I mean. Yes. So I think uh, whenever that the government is doing something, I think uh, Taiwan has no choice but just open itself mm -hmm. to the world. Yes. By doing that, I think a lot of government agency they have to think the way that the foreigners kind mm -hmm. of are like to have. Mm -hmm. They cannot just make the decision. In their own, in their own office, you mm -hmm. know they have to really uh, look Taiwan in, uh, in a way. Let me say, uh, all the European, all the American, of course, uh, people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you think that uh, the government's attitude and also the policy follow the attitude will be very very important in terms of attracting foreign investment. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and also the fact is, uh, you know, this is one thing that maybe we don't talk as much. But of course, very important consideration is about transparency. You know, the level of corruption. Mm -hmm. You know, Taiwan has always been known for very clean government. But in the you know last few years, we suffered a little mm -hmm. bit in that area. Do you think that's becoming a problem, a concern for many of the foreign companies before making investment decisions in Taiwan? In the past, in the past, I would say yes. But I think uh, lots of people in a foreign company, yes. or actually including myself, I think we uh -huh. had really a. A much higher expectation mm -hmm. of the new uh, administration. Yes, uh, I think we are hoping that the new administration can really, uh, really take actions. Yes, uh, what I mean, uh, wh why I uh, emphasize action is, what I have seen is, you know, Taiwan in the past make a lots of uh, regulation, mm -hmm. a lots of uh, rule, lots of new law, mm -hmm. try to improve uh, the uh, overall business environment, try to help yeah. company. Yeah. But really, we want to make that really part of the reality, mm -hmm. you know, with the new government coming yeah. in. Yeah, I think action. Yeah. Yes, I think just uh, louder than words. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Eddie, for that overall picture of the trade relations between the United States and Taiwan. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Mr. Eddie Yin, the director of Trade Investment Office for the State of Idaho in Taipei, Taiwan. And we're going to talk a little bit about what they you know, do in Taiwan, the state offices that we have so many of them in Taiwan. And we're going to find out what they exactly do for the trade relations between U.S. and Taiwan.